Well, today was the first day back to the classroom for many Buffalo Public School students. But while they were actually getting ready, the district and its teachers, they were in court arguing over school safety. Tonya Sides, Leanne Stuck has the story. Thousands of pre-K through second grade students, high school seniors and higher needs students in Buffalo returned to the classroom today for the first time since March. I'm enthused, I'm excited, I'm apprehensive, I'm all kinds of emotions. As a parent, I am all of those things and some. Superintendent Dr. Kreiner Cash emphasized safety is a priority. We mean it and we have not opened up until today because we take it very seriously. Cash said more than 5,000 students were invited to come back, but said only two to 3,000 attended Monday, which may have been related to the teachers union legal challenge on COVID safety and cleanliness issues. Today, a judge denied the union's request for a temporary restraining order against school reopening. There will be a full hearing for the district and the union on Friday. The teachers that I spoke to felt that uh, A, it was unsafe, uh, and B, why did the district have every teacher report whether they're teaching virtually or not? It didn't make any sense to them. Because of all of the drama and the fear mongering that's been going on, a lot of parents listen to that and so they back back, okay? We had 50% scheduled to come back. Now we're down to 20% in some schools. Dr. Wendy Mistretta is the president of the VPS District Parent Coordinating Council. She also has a son returning to school on Thursday. She said other than some internet access issues and a few parents confused about how in classroom learning would work, she said she's heard the first day back to school was smooth. I have not heard anything other than um, issues with parents who were maybe a bit confused about what to expect. I have not heard anything otherwise detrimental um, to, to any of our kids. And I'm looking forward to when we can get to the next step and bring back a few more. Leanne Stock, Channel 2 News.